How did the world develop sheet music as we know it today, and what did the Renaissance have to do with it? Well, technically music has been around for as long as sounds have been around, but the first recorded composed work, at least as society knows about, was during the 14th century BC. It was called the Hurry and Hymn No. 6. Long before the printing press took over Europe and soon the world, music was cut into stone or clay. The Hurry and Hymn No. 6 was also produced in this way, written in an old language called cuneiform, originating in southern Mesopotamia. Documents don't get much older than this. Imagine having to give a heavy stone out instead of a piece of paper for somebody to play your music. That would not work very well. Anyways, pens were later used on paper or papyrus, and music started to be written more quickly as people were not trying to carve into stone or clay anymore, but there was still not an easy way to copy the music that was being written or published. If you had wanted to play your favorite composer's works, you would have probably had to go up to them and say, Hey, Hugo de Latins, can I get that new ceremonial music for my wedding? And then he'd respond with something like, Oh yeah, no problem. Let me just manually write the entire score for you really quickly. As you can imagine, this was not a quick process and took a significant amount of time and was highly inefficient to say the least. Music notation had also changed dramatically though. Between cuneiform and modern music notation, there was some, well, unorthodox methods to today's standards. For example, in the 7th century, music could not be read by people that were not familiar with or had known the music. It only showed contours or whatever that means. How is this even useful? Anyways, by the 13th century, music notation had improved and at least by now you could read the melody. And in the 1400s, music notation had improved a lot, but there were still some confusing symbols. It wasn't until 1450 in the Renaissance that Johannes Gutenberg had invented the movable type printing press in Europe. Other than creating global news networking system, it quickly revolutionized both the spread and ease of copying music. Access to sheet music before the printing press was rare to have, and if you did have it, it was most likely an original work. Many printers of the Renaissance were commonly composers as well as outstanding musicians themselves. These printers had used the printing press that Gutenberg had invented and helped advance publishing music to make it available to the public like never before. Geographically, the printing press was especially significant to Europe because this is where most of the great composers came from. The easy access to printing press for European composers brought them quickly to fame as their works and scores were published. Economically, the printing press made many composers wealthy, as they could copy and sell many more units of their scores than ever before, aka they got rich. Historically, the printing press shifted an entire period of classical music, known as the Renaissance period. This period was from 1400 to 1600. Music before this was often monophonic or only had one melody. But after the printing press was invented, most composers started to produce more complex works that were polyphonic or multiple things being played at once. They could leave all the burdens of manually copying such works to the lovely printing press. Socially, the printing press had struck up conversation and composing became more popular as more people talked about music. Well, what does this all go back to? That more music was being printed and produced because of the printing press. This might not seem that interesting at first glance, but the magnitude of its significance in unparalleled detail and advancement for that time is incredible. Believe it or not, there are still people that are using the printing press today, and they don't jam or have ink issues.